My friend passed away this morning, but I have a deep and dark secret about him. He was dating his mother during his lifetime, and I was told to keep it a secret until he passed away. And now he's gone, so I can talk about it. So, it's now on the internet to decide what to do with this information. So, let me explain how this happened. I got invited out with my friend to play some Super Smash Bros. Melee. He said, hey man, you want to come over down and knock him stiff while and play some games? I said, knock him stiff? Is that a real name? He said, yeah, I live in Knock'em Stiff, man. I know I was in Toledo the last time, but I live in Knock'em Stiff now. And I said, Knock'em Stiff? I, I suppose so. I guess I'll pop out Knock'em Stiff. So, I drive four hours into Knock'em Stiff. And it, I, I can tell that I'm in a racially motivated area. Knock'em Stiff is a place that was, used to be a sundown town. If you don't know what a sundown town is, that means when the sun went down, the blacks went in. That's what it meant. So, I primarily was a little bit interested in what was going on, what was happening there. I stopped by a bar, and I noticed that I should immediately leave the bar. There is not a single person in this entire town of my same skin variety. Not a single sun-kissed fellow by the melanated persuasion in the entire way through. I'm the only piece of dark chocolate in this vanilla hoe downtown. I'm a little bit confused. So, I proceed to promptly leave, and they say, what are you doing here? And I said, mm, I'm simply meeting a friend. Do you know, and I state his name because I'm not going to state his name right now because you guys like to dig into everything. I'm not going to do that. So, they say, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know where he's at. Confusing me the most is an Ohio man with a southern accent. We're in the Midwest. Why do you have a southern accent? Don't really know where that came from. Anyways, I drive, and I arrive in his abode. I pull up the whip, and I see his lovely house. It is amazing. This house has two stories, finished basement. 2.5 bathrooms, 4 bedrooms, I am over the moon. That's the height of living right there. That is insane. I knock on the door, and I feel a cold shudder go down the back of my spine as if something is about to afoot. Like I'm about to discover some bit of information or lore that I probably would be better off without. But I don't think about that because I'm excited to play Super Smash Brothers. He arrives through the door, he's much taller than me, he says, Ah, oh, what's up bro, how are you doing? Great meeting. Then I see his mother, lovely woman. Oh. Divine woman, she she was so kind. She approached me and said, Now, we usually don't allow black people in here, but I'll make an exception. And I said, Oh, by the grace of Jesus, happy to see a woman that's sensible. Love to see it. Anyways, she proceeds to pat me on the head and gives me a kiss on the forehead. And I say, Oh, that's how the family operates. That's how they function as people. I'm happy about that. Then she gives him a very, very interesting kiss on the cheek. Now, there's regular kisses on the cheek. Mwah, easy, something nice, something simple. This kiss felt like it had a deeper meaning behind it. I activated my Sherlock Holmes intuition. I popped out the Scooby-Doo on him and said, that's a pretty interesting kiss. And he said, yeah, my mom gets riled up sometimes. And I said, oh, I'm not digging deeper into that statement at all. I'm ready to play Smash Brothers. I have one mission on my mind. I don't care about anything else. And she says, would you like to eat? You must have driven awfully far. I said, I would love to eat. Now, me predicting the food may have a little bit of poison, wishing I had a jester or some taste tester like a king did in the olden days to test the food, I was a little bit anxious to test the food out. However, I do know the seating positions of everything. I noticed there's an empty chair, and I'm not allowed to sit in it. it must be for the dad, thinking about that. And then there is another chair to the left, and then a chair right next to it, very close to each other. And then there's a chair far off to the right, that's my chair. So, we had pork chops, we had macaroni and cheese, and we had chicken. Now you're probably wondering, why do we have pork and chicken? I don't know, I didn't even eat the pork chops, I didn't trust it. I didn't eat the chicken either, because it looked very bland and dry. The mac and cheese, very moist, very moist. However, across from me, in my eagle eye perception, I noticed that they're fadoodling with each other. They're getting a little bit handsy. I'm a little bit perplexed. And then the spirit of Oedipus whispers in my ear and says, yeah, I turn. I think it's a ghost. I don't know what is going on. I knew it was Oedipus because I could feel the mf -er inside of the air. I was a little bit confused. After eating, they give each other a kiss on the lips. Now I've been to France before. I've seen people kiss each other on the lips. I know what's going on. Some people may greet that. They may be foreigners. I didn't want to assume. I don't like assuming things. I'm not an assumer. I then proceed to say, well, uh, let, let's go play Smash Brothers. Little did I know 
that he smashed mothers. Anyways, I'm not gonna talk about that yet. I go and play Smash Brothers. I'm three stocking, I'm annihilating them, beating them on Final Destination. No items of Fox. I'm 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 going great. And then I pick out the Falco style on him. I'm having a great time. After about seven matches of me 3 0 in this boy, he says, Hey, I gotta I gotta tell you a secret. And I'm confused. I think he's about to tell me that he's got a body hitting under the floorboards, Telltale Heart, Edgar Allan Poe. I'm concerned. I'm scared. My soul's going to shudder. I don't know what I'm about to hear. He says, uh, me and my mom, see, you know, we like to get down and dirty. And I said, oh, you guys like to garden. Yeah, I'm, I'm innocent. I'm not thinking of anything bad. You guys like gardening, skiing, sledding, snowboarding, hiking, hunting even. Anything down and dirty. That can mean so many things. You guys love helping out your local garbage man. I'm thinking of everything to make me get my mind off it and get back to Smash Brothers. But he's strictly playing Super Smash Mother. Because he then proceeds to tell me, no, we, we, we get intimate. I said, oh. Well, a little bit of a lore drop there. I pull out my phone immediately, and I'm about to contact the local authorities. He says, wait. I said, wait. Yeah, there's a lot of weight going on right here. A weight's got lifted off your chest. Don't say that to me. He said, listen, I'm telling you this because I've known you for a long time. That's not true. As a matter of fact, we've known each other for a trial period. It has been 30 days, 10 times 3. It has been not that long. It has been the average. It's been February on a leap year plus one. That's how long it's been. It has not been that long that I've known this man. Truly, it hasn't. He says, no, this is, this is serious. I, l listen, I, I'm telling you this because you're easy to talk to. I said, oh, I'm easy to I apologize. I'm easy to talk to. You know what? Keep going. Because I need more information for the authorities. I just need to know more things. He then proceeds to tell me explicit, horrific details. He said, well, my dad passed away. You know, God bless his soul. He died in a horrible accident. I said, how did your father pass? He, he said he was a grand wizard or grand dragon. I'm not sure what he said. He said grand wizard or grand dragon. I know it was something associated with the, the white hoods is what I knew. He said he was, he, was, he was a great man. He led this town out of, out of everything. He helped authorities round up people. He was a great man. And I said, your father sound, sounds like a horrifyingly evil racist. And then he said, yeah, however, I said, okay, ignore that. I had to take up the mantle. I said, okay, Bruce Wayne, don't, okay, don't say it like that, like, it's th like that. I was so confused. I said, don't phrase it like you're doing some great justice. He said, no, I am because I don't want my mom to be lonely. She's old. She can't go out and meet somebody. They all knew my dad. They don't want to disrespect his memory. And she don't leave his town, so I'm just the only option. I said, that is so, there's so much to unpack in everything you said. I, I have to go to Amazon just to get this unpacked. There's so much, I have to go to UPS just to pack it up. Then I gotta go to Amazon Warehouse to unpack it and stow it. This is, there's so much information that I'm receiving. And I say, you know what? He's probably joshing me to throw off my game for Smash Brothers. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, he's just joshing. This is, this is a fib. This is all just a ruse, a scandal, one might say. I'm a little bit perplexed. So I go ask the mom. I want to hear it from the lady herself. So I go walk up to her. I say, madam, <laughs> your son spun me a bit of a tale. She says, yes, black boy. What did he say? I said, he, he told me you to do things in the bedroom <laughs> in the privacy of your home that perhaps would be best kept between lovers. She looks at me and says, the, the the she looks at me and says the greatest one piece opening of all time we are i said uh uh she says yes ohio is for lovers i'm like ohio is for it's crazy that's a why <laughs> why and she said why is it 25th letter of the alphabet i said okay all right you're saying words i'm perplexed i i'm there's so many emotions going through my gullet i am hurt I then proceed to go back and play Smash Brothers, and he says, Hey, man, I'm getting sleepy. And I, 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 don't, I don't even want to be in the house. There's racial spirits going around me. Rosa Parks' his spirit is pushing me out the house. Martin Luther King is saying, You should probably leave the house. I'm, I'm concerned. Malcolm X is shaking his head that I even know these people. Everything is my, my bad. And then he says, Wait. Please don't tell anybody. I said, Okay, you know what? Scout's honor. You got a lot. You got a lot to end. I won't tell a soul. He said, Just... If I pass away before you, just let me know. I said, okay. 
if you if you if any strange event that you pass away before me by all means i will tell the world he said just hold on to it because i'll figure out you tell us something man it's gonna really put a damper on our friendship put a damper on our friend there's so many things putting a damper on our friendship right now there, there's a lot going on i ended up paying 150 dollars for one night at a motel just to not stay in there and i drove back the next day oh i would i have been holding on to this for so long here go a few questions a few questions you might ask in the comments i imagine how old was he well he was 32 i'm 27 he was 32 when he passed away when i met him he was 28 so i've been holding on to this for four years four long years four years how did he pass away a lot of people have been saying to me oh did you poison him no 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 he got four shots to the heart and two in the skull people despise this man deeply because of his father like his father did horrible evil things he was a member of the white hood group people didn't like this guy they wanted to get his family out of everywhere they didn't enjoy him now another question people ask me is the mother alive nope she passed two years ago i have not spoken to him at all i didn't speak to him last message he sent me was congratulations on reaching 100k on tiktok that was the last thing he said to me congratulations reaching 100k on tiktok and I said, thank you. And I hearted his message. That's the last thing I ever said to this man. Now, it is up to you to determine, wh wh what do we do with this information, guys? I don't know what to do with it. I've been holding on to it for so long. I forgot about it until he, I see that he passed away this this morning. I was like, oh, he's gone. He's out of here. He's kaput. He's kaput in Zotsky. I I don't know what to do with this. I'm just, I just wanted everybody to know about it because I, I I, I guess I just needed to not be the only one to know. Well, th that's all I got. Bye.